Hi Starseeds, welcome back to our channel. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make Indian suji porridge. This is so warming and so delicious and I can't wait to share it with you. So let's just get in the kitchen. So we are starting off with the topping for the semolina. So to a frying pan, you're gonna add in one tablespoon of ghee. For my vegan friends out there, you can add in a tablespoon of Miyoko's butter or any kind of plant-based butter that you prefer. Once your ghee has melted, just give it a nice little stir. And now we're gonna add in a third cup of split cashew nuts. So we are gonna roast this on a medium flame until the cashews are nice and golden brown. So just a tip here, when you're roasting the cashews, you wanna roast those for a couple minutes and then add the raisins. If you add the raisins at the same time as the cashew nuts, then you're gonna end up burning your raisins, okay? So as you can see, the cashews are almost golden brown. And at this point, we're gonna add in our three quarters of a cup of raisins. Just give that a nice mix. So my raisins are really plump and hot to the touch. We don't wanna overcook the raisins, that's why we put them in last. And now we're just gonna turn off the heat and now it's time to make the semolina pudding. I'm just gonna place the cashew nuts and the raisins in a bowl and just set it aside until we need it. So to the same pan, now you don't have to clean the pan at all. We want a little bit of that ghee. In, in this uh, step of the video. So what we're gonna do is add in a half cup of semolina and we're gonna roast the semolina. So we're dry roasting the semolina on low flame just to get rid of the rawness, which is in the semolina. So dry roasting the semolina is very important so that you can remove that raw quality to it. So you wanna dry roast the semolina for about 10 minutes. So after roasting for 10 minutes on low flame, we're just gonna place it in a bowl and we're gonna set this aside. So to the same bowl, we're gonna be adding half a liter of almond milk. You can use any kind of milk you want, but I just love this pure almond milk for this recipe. So we are just gonna whisk it for about 10 seconds and then set it aside. So to the same pan, we're gonna be adding a liter of milk. Again, I'm using almond milk. While the milk is heating, we're gonna be adding in four tablespoons of ghee. Now, I love using ghee in my cooking. I just recently started doing this, um, and I like the flavor because it sort of has this caramelly, quali caramelly quality to it. Uh, for my vegan friends out there, if you're using coconut oil, that should work too. Any oil should work, it's just that ghee gives a really nice caramel flavor that other oils won't really give. And to that, we're gonna be adding a half a cup of coconut flour nectar sugar. Mm. So the sugar I'm using for this recipe is a much healthier alternative to agave nectar and white sugar. Um, so I'm using coconut flour nectar sugar and it's just so delicious and again, has that nice dark um, caramelly sort of type flavor that I adore. So we're gonna whisk all the ingredients together and we're gonna cook the milk on medium flame for about five to 10 minutes or until you notice that it's getting very, very hot. So now that the milk mixture in the pan is nice and hot, we are gonna add in our semolina and milk mixture. So what we're doing now is just whisking it, just stirring it actually for about 10 to 15 minutes until it gets nice and thick. We are cooking this on a medium to low flame and you just need a little bit of patience here. So it is best to cook this on medium flame, otherwise it will just take forever to cook. But at 10 minutes already, you can see that we're bringing the mixture to a boil, which is exactly what we want. And we want to stir this up all the while. You can see that it has thickened a little bit, but we do need a few more minutes. So I've been cooking this for 20 minutes and now it's ready. It's also been cooling for about five minutes, so you can see how it got a little bit thicker now that it's a bit cool. Um, you can eat this right now, or you can put it in the fridge and have it as a, a cold kind of porridge. Um, and also, the time to add in your spices and your vanilla, if you wanted to, is now. Traditionally, you would add in cinnamon and cardamom. I'm not gonna add in anything because I just like it just like this. So we're finally plating our suji porridge and it looks so beautiful. 
Now I know I said I wasn't gonna add any cinnamon or cardamom powder, but I just can't help myself because I adore these spices. So this will just enhance the flavor of the suji. I'm just adding our roasted cashew nuts and raisins as a topping. This is optional, of course. I'm gonna try it for you. Mmm. So now that it's cooled down a little bit, it hasn't gone in the fridge yet. And if it does, it'll firm up a little bit more than how it is now. But it is sort of in a jiggly kind of consistency um, and a little bit soft on the inside. Mmm. It's got that caramelly flavor and it's very fresh tasting, if that makes any sense. I think rose water would do really well in this recipe. Mm. Slightly sweet as well. And then let me get one of these raisins and a cashew nut. Mmm. Mmm. So the raisins and the cashew nuts add a lot of flavor. And the raisins have that sort of sweet and sourness to it, which really enhance the flavor of the suji. Mmm, it's good. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, star seeds. so that's the end of the video. I hope you guys try out this recipe. It's a really healthy and delicious um, breakfast, Indian breakfast suji recipe. Um, suji is just Hindi for semolina, for those of you who don't know. And uh, it's just really delicious and great for kids as well. So don't forget to hit that like button. And if you like our content, do subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time.